We all love to have a nice and fast workflow when editing videos. Some actions take two, three, maybe four clicks, but with short keys we can perform them with just one press of a button. So let's find out five Premiere Pro short keys you should use. Hi folks, it's Jordi here again for Cinecom.net. Often we like to cut a piece from the beginning of a clip. You need to get your razor blade for that, click on the clip and delete the first part and then slide everything back to remove that gap. Well, this whole action can be done with just one press of a button. Put your play hat in the correct position and press Q. That's it. To trim off a last piece of your clip, you can press the W. The next shortcut doesn't exist yet, so we'll go to the menu and select File, Keyboard Shortcuts. In the search bar type in Bypass and you'll find Bypass Lumetri Color Effects. I'll set my to the zero button on my numeric keyboard, but you can set anything you like of course. Press OK and do some color gradings with Lumetri. To see the before and the after, just hold down that short key. The next one is pretty simple but oh so wonderful. While editing you sometimes like to find the source of a certain clip again. Instead of going through your clips in the project window, just select one of your clips in the timeline and press the button F. That will open up the clip in your source monitor where you can select a different part from now. When moving a clip to a different track or position in time, you can do that with your mouse but it's not so precise and there's a faster way to do it. Hold down your ALT key and use the arrows to move a clip between tracks or from left to right within a track. It will do so by one frame. If you'd like to move with bigger steps, also hold down your SHIFT key when nudging your clip left and right with the ALT key. And finally the last short key is to get a better and faster look at your timeline in general. As you might know you can simply scroll through your timeline and by holding down the ALT key while doing so, you will also zoom in and out. It will zoom to where your arrow is at. When I'm editing, I'm constantly scrolling and zooming in or out. It's much faster as using the scroll bar below and definitely a lot faster than using the zoom tool. So these were my top 5 favorite short keys. If you like them, thumbs up this video and please let me know in the comments below which short keys you often use. Thank you very much for watching and remember, Stay creative.